I will show you how to install Windows Server 2012 on VirtualBox. So we need to create a new virtual machine and we will call it Windows Server 2012. All right. So here you need to define the memory size, which is the RAM. It depends on your RAM, but you need to make sure that you should not exceed the green uh, region for gigabyte. All right. So now we create the uh, the virtual machine and here we keep it the same thing so we have for uh, we need to have here the hard disk I'll make it 100 gigabyte hard disk we keep the hard disk file type VDI uh, which is the virtual disk image press on OK so now we have the Windows Server 2012 available click on the settings and we do some modifications so if we click on systems we just uncheck the floppy disk because it's not available anymore we if you have any uh, video gaming or any uh, multimedia applications you probably need to change the modify the, the size of the video memory uh, and probably you need to enable 3D acceleration or 2D video acceleration for our case we don't need to do that then click on the storage uh, you click on empty and then click here to select your uh, Windows server basically you look you check here and you define define in the folder where you download it so now it's okay let me check the audio nothing to change in the audio and the network you can have the NAT this is for the internet we can add more adapters but let's keep it right now only for NAT adapter ports no change in the ports share folder you can add a shell folder so that you can you can shell folder between your host computer and the guest server for my case I have uh, one shell folder I already defined in the desktop this is a shell folder open so now I have it here no change in the interface so now it's ok click now let's start the server so the virtual box now is starting and loading the files all right here you define the language to install the time and currency format the keyboard click next and then you install the Windows Server 2012 okay now you need to add uh, or to enter the product key to activate the windows okay now we have enter the product key now we have the two option uh, so we select the second option where we have a server with the uh, GUI the user interface accept the license and term and conditions okay next so uh, install Windows on the we click on the second choice and we click on next so now it's installing the Windows Server 2012 
All right, now so now the window is restarting again. We just click that. All right, so now you have a username with an uh, administrator username. So you need to define the new password for the, for this user account. So finish. Now we are accessing the the Windows Server, and we enter the password. We just entered before. All right. So now we are on the Windows Server 2012, and it's already running. We just click here, yes. And now the server starting up. So we have now we have the server is ready. Let's do a couple of things. First of all, we probably need to to or change the name of the server. So if we right click on the uh, this PC folder properties and we go to the computer name, domain, and work group setting, change settings. As you can see, let's see it before. As you can see that the computer name is called WinAA2ILHURB25, which is, uh, it's really hard to memorize or uh, it's hard actually to, to use. So the best thing is to change the name of your server so click change settings and then here we click on change and let's call it server 2012 okay now it will ask us that he will start the server again close so let's start again and it's starting again and enter the new password all right good so now we need to do some more thing we just make this is bigger okay one more thing we need to do we need we click on manage add rules and features so we click on next next then we click also and we select the server next we need we can we select one of the rules it's called active directory domain service uh, click add feature so this is one of the rules probably you need to add at the beginning when you install the windows server 2012 so let me click next 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 uh, install now it's installing the this service close we can close it and you can actually see it from here we just refresh so it's installing the new rule now let's click on the flag and we select promote this server to domain controller we add a new forest and let's call it it depends on if you have a company name or any website so basically you type that next now it's installing define the password next
Next. 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 So it's checking the prerequisites. You see everything is fine. Now everything is fine. Install. Now it's installing the new forest. So now still installing. Okay. We are to be signed out. Okay, so we need to close and it will restart again. So it's shutting down restarting. So don't press any key or anything, otherwise it will you install Windows Server again, so just leave it. Okay, so now it's ready. And as you see that we have now the name of the new forest. It's been defined here, so you can have multiple of these. Let me just type the password. All right, so now you have your server. Windows Server 2012 is ready to use. Thank you.